hello guys in today's video we'll go over sarit oxidation so without further ado let's right uh, delve into it sarit oxidation was given to us by lewis hastings sarit this is the reagent used in the overall process you can see we have a chromium trioxide molecule which is uh, sort of linked to two pyridine rings the sarit oxidation is an organic reaction that oxidizes primary and secondary alcohols to aldehydes and ketones respectively using chromium trioxide and pyridine which is as shown right here now i have made a video covering jones oxidation so unlike the jones oxidation where the primary alcohol is converted to uh, the carboxylic acid functional group here the primary alcohol is converted only to the aldehydic group also it won't affect the carbon carbon double bonds now this reaction is very old and uh, largely antiquated meaning it's uh, used very rarely uh because we have other modified oxidation techniques now uh, this reaction is still occasionally used in teaching settings and in small scale laboratory research for instance there might be some scarcity of uh, reagents or some sort of other conditions uh, uh, forcing people to use this reaction now let's look at the reactions themselves we have a primary alcohol right here a primary alcohol is a, a alcohol in which the carbon which has the hydroxy group has at least one has one hydrogen only attached to it and one alkyl group so in the presence of the reagents we get an aldehyde we can write the reagents separately as this or in the combined form as well as i had shown earlier also uh, now let's look at the secondary alcohol in the secondary alcohol the carbon which has the hydroxy group attached has two alkyl groups attached to it in the presence of the same reagent we get a keto there is a spelling mistake right here please take note and uh, as you can see we are getting an aldehyde we are getting an aldehyde and not a carboxylic acid so it's different from a jones reagent and also nothing happens to double bonds or any sort of uh, pi bond present in the reaction